well, my second trip to Priestfield to watch Newport take on Gillingham. And this one I thought I'd actually do a match day vlog for. Hello everyone, my name's Kieran and welcome back to my channel. And yeah, match day vlog, Gillingham versus Newport at Priestfield in League 2. I thought I'd uh, give a little format of this absolutely brilliant morning that went flawlessly. Um, got at the train station, and that was all fine. Got a hot chocolate, was great, and uh, realised about 40 minutes before the train left. Bear in mind, it's a 20-minute walk from the hotel to the train station to, an, well, not, well, one way. And, uh, yeah, realised I forgot the tickets to the game. So... <laughs> Spilled the hot chocolate, near enough all over myself, but we're all right now. Um, yeah, had to rush to the hotel to get the tickets and uh, rush to get back on the train. We uh, got there with three minutes to spare. <laughs> um, the, the holy grail of Gillingham what tickets have been secured. <laughs> uh, every away day is flawless, nothing goes wrong ever. Well, let's put it this way, the train journey went a lot more uh, swimmingly than leading up to the train journey. Uh, you still got the ticket, even got the Gillingham ones, so uh, yeah, the main purpose of this, the uh, tickets have been required, we're all good. Uh, we're like a half hour away from the ground, but we've got like, two hours until we get goes. Ninety minutes to fill kick off. Uh, we've just been allowed in the ground. Going to be absolute uh, class. I'm excited for this one. Unintentionally saw the uh, county players coach, so that was a uh, good fun. We were just stood uh, stood by the ground, just having a chat, and all of a sudden a coach pulled up in his county lot. So that was good fun. Um, yeah, I'm quite optimistic for uh, this game. Can't lie. <laughs> We're in the ground now, 15 minutes until team news, uh, 75 minutes until kickoff. I'm assuming that the uh, stand that is known for being scaffolding is closed for the day. So, uh, fair enough, we've not got a bad allocation of seats anyway. So, uh, lineups out, we've got a back three, which is the most noticeable thing. Townsend in goal, Drysdale, Delaney, and Baker as a back three. You've got McLaughlin and Bonswell potentially playing as a kind of left and right mid or as a wing backs rather if we want to go a bit more defensive. You've then got, you know, holding midfielders of uh, Morris and Bennett. You've got Wildick probably playing a more advanced attacking role in the regular front two of Bogle and Evans. You've got Max Dead, Payne, Wait, Roy Thomas and Wood on the bench. So there's options for rotation. But yeah, back to a uh, free back, a little bit of a... Uh, change from the floor back that we're used to. Sheringham lineup is, from what I can see, unchanged from their uh, midweek wins. Uh, yeah, midweek win to Swindon, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it's a uh, good win to come off the uh, back end of. And, yeah, it's a little bit uh, worrying in that remark, because they were very solid defensively and did what they wanted to do, what did what they needed to do, rather, away from home. And now that they're uh, at home, who knows what they can... Uh, do offensively more than defensively. We know what they can do at the back uh, if needs be. It's definitely a way they run. But yeah, it's the uh, hope is that we're not going to be in too much trouble in the remarks of uh, offensively. That's the uh, kind of hope I've got. What are you doing? Abusive, homophobic, racist, <laughs> chanting, please be and speak our ground. Somewhere where yeah, everyone can come and enjoy football without discrimination. Here's a bit more music and we'll uh, have some Ready? birthday greetings for you. Finish it. Fair enough. 
As opposed to Salford, where we have an awful record, over here we tend to do pretty well. So, uh, one of the pens I think is the Stonewall pen. The other one's kind of soft, but there were some fouls given either way that were questionable. Uh, ref's been, I guess, okay at letting the game flow, uh, but other than the ref, I think we've we've actually deserved the lead. We've defended well. We gave Johnny Williams a. Uh, uh, a one-on-one -on -one near enough with uh, Nick Townsend, but he just had it wide, so um, that's welcoming, but it's a little bit worrying that we gave away that kind of chance. But other than that, we've actually defended really well, you know, closing people down, doing uh, everything else in between. We've been pretty good, pretty good, and I'm not going to complain going into this second half whatsoever. I'm not, one like the first, and I won't complain. I didn't really expect us to nearly oh, score, oh, man. Fair oh, play. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is class. Oh, go on. So yeah, the game ended out with Newport winning 2-0, which is a more than welcome result given the fact that if you look at the table positions and everything in between, you wouldn't have really favoured us for that one. So yeah, great result. First penalty I think was pretty stonewalled. Second penalty, a little bit of 50-50. I feel like uh, the, the challenge made leading up to it was a bit soft and whatever else. So uh, yeah, irregardless... Uh, Really happy with the result, but uh, of course we had the uh, moment that nobody likes to see where the taunts were thrown by a, I'm not even going to call him fan, just an absolute idiot that uh, has thankfully and really well responded by a Gillingham and Newport. He's been given a lifetime ban, he's been arrested and all of that stuff, so uh, you never like seeing that in just the world at all, let alone just football, so... It's good to know that action was taken on that, and I hope uh, Omar Bogle is well, if he is watching this, and I hope it didn't affect him too much. So, uh, yeah, it was really nice to see all the support and stuff go his way, and that the clubs were really quick to get rid of this absolute idiot. So, uh, yeah. But other than that, on the uh, football topic, we did really well. I think we deserved the uh, win, regardless of the pens. I think we did really well at the back, which is something that... We haven't been doing as of recent, so I'm really happy that we are uh, 
solid at the back and we were pretty good at taking the chances that we got to close the penalties. But we did make a few of them at that uh, we really could have scored and made that scoreline a lot more favourable to us, you know, 3 or 4 nil. But then again, Gillingham had, you know, one or two really good chances as well, which could have made the game a lot closer than it was. And I believe they even scored a uh, goal that was ruled out for offside. So, yeah, if the pens weren't given, it could have went really either way. Oh, you know, it, 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 that's football at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this match day vlog, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to just enjoy the uh, rest of the time I have at this hotel and whatever else. Make sure to support the channel whatever way you see fit using the links in the description. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this and take care.